what is going on people so we're going to be talking about mainly darkness here because uh with the new update darkness 6 were released and uh, it has been a while since the main subject of a video was darkness but here we are with this update now i uh initially thought the darkness level 6 were going to be really really rough because um, most of them, especially the level 27s, were going to be only T5. They're going to have familiars and all of that. And uh, right at reset, uh, I there was one that literally popped up right next to me. So I just started a rally right away. So I think that we may have one of the first DN6 in most servers. But uh, it was a fairly simple, mainly infantry in range and a little bit of calf. So I just, I just set the infantry rally. And then we started just um, we just started to to roll out some level sixes, and uh, I honestly thought that they were going to be much harder than they are. But I will say this though: for a very long time, I ran Darkness uh, Five without changing talents or anything like that. Just pretty much, as long as you change your gear, you would pretty much beat most of the darknesses that were out there. Now, of course, there were some level 25s that were fairly uh, fairly hard to beat, but there just came a point where there was really no darkness that was really too bad, as long as your stats were in the 700s, I would say, not even that much higher than that. So, a lot of people can actually achieve 700% stats without even changing into talents. So I thought, okay, for this one, I'm definitely going to have to change talents, especially if I'm going to try out for the first time what they're all about. And um, I honestly think that for these darkness, at least at level 26, unless it's uh, it's a super mix and you, you have trouble with the beginning, like the, the front line, I don't really think you have to change talents that often on these uh, darkness either. Now, there may be like a level 27 or something like that where you may need to, but it doesn't seem like the difficulty is that much greater. I will say though, if your stats are only in the 500s or lower tier 600s, then you might want to stick to rallying the, uh, the level 5s until you can get more reliable results from the level 6. Um, but... One thing that I did notice, and there it is, uh, this one was uh, defeated in 55 seconds uh, past the 5 minute timer, so yeah, I would say that's one of the first ones. And, um, but yeah, I, I would say that one of the main things that I found that's very, very useful from all of this is that now you can find the higher tier uh, essences much easier. Um, so yeah, I got my first essence here and I only got gold. So it doesn't look like the rewards are going to be that much better either. Uh, I'm sure they're going to be overall a little better. But yeah, you're, you're still going to have some times where your rewards are just not going to be that great. But yeah, like I was saying before, uh, a lot of times you will have to scout the whole kingdom trying to find decently leveled essences. Whether it was 23, 24, 25 or in that ballpark. Sometimes you'd have to settle for 21, 22 because you just could not find any better. But now, since all of these level 6 darkness are going to be level 26 and 27. And once you go ahead and take one out, another one respawns. It's going to do a couple of things. First of all, for the higher tier guilds, they're only really going to run Darkness level 6. Meaning that the lower tier guilds, the guilds that don't have everyone with T4 or T5, etc. They're going to have level 5s uh, be more accessible to them and more available to them. Because the higher tier guilds won't really care for level 5s anymore. Let's be honest. If you can run level 6 Darkness, why would you care about level 5s? So that, that's great. Another thing that people might not be thinking about in the long term with these level 6 darkness is that when it comes down to Guildfest, remember this, Guildfest has a lot of quests that has you getting level 19 plus essences. So what this does is that, or at least what it did, is that before eventually everybody would only focus on level 19 plus and then by the end of the day you would only have you know, level 14 through 18 dark essences out there, uh, or darkness, because everybody else took the higher ones, and then if they spawn, if the respawn was a lower essence, then you just have less and less available to you. But with the level 6s, you're going to have level 26 and 27 available at all times throughout the map, so you don't have to worry about, you know, finding a darkness that's 200 miles away because that's the only one that's level 19 plus etc and 
I honestly would not be surprised if they somehow managed to sneak in another quest for guild fest whether instead of level 19 plus now it's going to say you know essence level 25 plus etc for more points i would actually be very very much down with something like that just saying but uh yeah like i showed like you saw there the battle wasn't really that close either considering that it wasn't a straight counter either so that's what i'm saying like i don't think that uh for for people that have higher tier gear and uh and stats i don't think that talents are going to be that big of a thing for you uh, but i actually did activate my griffin here because there was a level 27 that we found out there and um we went three for three on the first level 26 so we were like okay maybe maybe they're not really that hard and the real challenge is going to be on the 27 now i decided to go ahead and go range here just because of the initial hero it was it's gargantua and obviously gargantua is very well known for being a cavalry type hero um so i was like okay well if gargantua is the leader i'm gonna go range just in case and i'm gonna go infantry wedge just in case i run into infantry i only have to go through half of it and then i can start pummeling uh whatever cavalry there might be there so i actually went ahead and changed talents for this one as well and all of that good jazz and uh sped everybody up i mean yeah we, we were we were speeding everybody up to uh, to darkness because everybody wanted the new essence uh, but yeah, I mean, everybody was running level 26 plus and it does not seem to be that bad. I also, uh, the, the familiars that I saw, they were, they, they were there and some of them were kind of questionable. But for the most part, the familiars didn't seem to be making like that huge of a difference. Granted, yes, they still do make a difference, but nothing to where, you know, it's, it's going to change the world. Um, if you if you have decently uh, you, know, you know geared rally lead and their stats are actually pretty damn high, so I feel like uh, these essences they are going to be good, especially for the higher tier guilds because of what I mentioned before. And uh, it's also going to be a nice little stepping stone for some of these people that are kind of still working on their gear and they want to know where they're at. Uh, if you're working towards being a rally lead, etc., I feel like these are going to be like good tests for you. But overall, I don't really feel like they're uh, they're they're too hard to beat or anything like that, especially if you're already a rally lead and have good stats. Um, but yeah, this one, it was blind. Uh, if I remember correctly, level 27s are only uh, T5, and they're always going to be anti. But we got it on the first try. I even had to delete a level 26 essence uh, because we were just running so many, and we were pretty much winning all of them. And there it is, level 27 Dark Essence. I don't think that level 27 to 26, the Essence, the rewards are going to be that much different. But, you know, it is what it is. Uh, we actually ran into range, so it was like range on range, and then we got to the Cavalry. And uh, as you can tell, the the Familiars, they're not bad, but they're, they weren't like all that either. So, yeah, there you go. All T5, fairly even mix. Of course, it did have about 500k more Cavalry. Uh, which definitely helped our cause because we sent range. But overall, uh, it wasn't really... It didn't really seem like it that overwhelming. Now, if I would have ran into infantry first, that might have been much different. Uh, because I would have to go through half of that first. And obviously, uh, infantry on range wouldn't have gone very well for me. But I feel like uh, th these essences are not going to be... They're not going to be too bad. And uh, I... I actually opened this one already, the level 27 Dark Essence, and I got 600 gems times 2. Now, that's not unheard of. I mean, I've gotten things similar like that from much lower Essence, level 20 plus, I would say. I've gotten gems from it before, but I guess what's really something to watch is the consistency of the rewards. Because sometimes you get really good rewards, sometimes you, the rewards aren't really that great. But if these level 26 and 27 rewards are going to be a little bit more consistent as far as getting the better rewards, whether that's gems, boots, uh, attack, uh, boost, things of that nature, then uh, I'll be down with it. But regardless, I feel like nowadays most guilds, uh, at least the higher tier guilds, are going to be running these level 6s, and that's going to leave a lot of level 5s for other people. But I, I really do feel like at the end of the day, 
it's going to be uh, much better for guild fest people that are going to be running uh, darkness quests because they're going to be super easy to find and you're not going to run out of them. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think about this new darkness. Are you liking it? Do you think they need to be a little bit tougher or do you like it exactly where it's at? Going to be reading your comments. Appreciate you guys for watching. Until later. Bye.